When you're learning Python, one of the most confusing things that can happen is you declare a variable, later you go to use it, and then Python complains that the variable was never defined. That's usually because you're mixing up your variable scope. Let's talk about it. Let's start with some code. I'm gonna kind of visually just draw out some code over here on the right side of the screen. So let's say we have a variable uh, named x, and I'll just set x equal to five. Now, this code is not within a function, so this variable x is going to exist within the global scope. And let me draw that global scope over here as a big box. Okay, so this is the, this is the global, global scope. And inside of it, we have x is equal to five. Global scope is pretty easy to understand. If any variable exists in the global scope, then it's going to be accessible everywhere within the program. In Python, scope is based on functions. So to get another example of a new scope, we need to define a function. Let's define a function f, we'll just name it f. And let's say that within f, we define a new variable called y and we'll just set it equal to 10. All right, so we've indented now, we are inside of the function f and we've created y. Well, y does not exist at the global layer. Instead, we're creating a new scope within the global scope so this is the scope of f. And inside of that, we've created the variable y. So what this means is y is only accessible within the scope of f, okay? So down here, I could, for example, print y, and that would work just fine because I'm still within the function f. What I could not do is come out here into the global scope and print y. This will break, right? Inside of the global scope, we do not have access to y. y is only available within the blue box. But, interestingly, x is, right? We could here do print, print x, and this would work because x is in the parent scope, in the global scope, and so it still exists within f, if that makes sense. So you can kind of, you can move downwards, but you can't move upwards. You can go from parent scopes to child scopes, but you cannot go from child scopes to parent scopes. Let's do another example. Let's say we define another function g, and we define this function at the global level again. Okay, so I've, I've, I've de-dented back to the same kind of level as x equals five and the f definition. Um, and here we'll create a new variable called z and set it equal to 20. Okay, so where does this scope exist visually? I, I wanna pause for just a second um, and let you think about it. So G does not exist within F, it's its own scope, but it does exist within the global scope. So G is gonna be down here and Z is a variable inside of G. So within G, we can access Z and X, but we cannot access Y. All right, one last example, we're going to define a function H and we're going to define it within G. So let's do H here. And we'll create a new variable called A, set it equal to one. Okay, now where is H going to live, right? H is going to live here inside of G. So within the H function, we can access A and Z and X, right? But we cannot, still can't access Y. And within G, we can still only access X and Z. We don't have access to A or Y. So the idea is pretty simple, and hopefully now you kind of understand the difference between a parent and a child scope and how they relate to each other. Now I wanna show you a quick quirk about the Python programming language that isn't necessarily the same with other programming languages. Okay, so I've written some code here. Um, we've got this function, get names, and inside of it, I've created an array or a list of four strings, right? Lane, Alan, Bob, and Jill. And then we are going to loop over each name in the list and create a new variable called x and set it equal to name. And then we're just going to print out x once the loop terminates. Now I want you to look at this code and think, what's going to happen here, right? What is x going to print? Let's go ahead and run the code. This would be python main.py. We got Jill, okay? So the interesting thing about Python is that even though X was declared within a for loop, 
X is still available outside of that for loop. And that's because in Python, variables are scoped to their functions, just like we covered kind of visually, right? It's important to note that in Python, variables are not scoped to blocks like, like for loops or if statements, um, like they are in many other languages. In many other languages, this would throw an error and say X is not defined. I would need to say, put the X in here, which would of course print it for every single one. Or I might need to do something like declare, declare X equals none up at the top and then kind of overwrite the value within the loop. And the only other thing I'll say about this kind of weird quirk of Python is I wouldn't take advantage of it too much. It's a little weird, frankly, you know, as a developer who has had experience in more languages than just Python to declare a variable within a block and then access it outside of that block, even though you're in the same function. So I would recommend not doing this very often. Right. Even though Python allows you to do it, I think it results in kind of some weird to read code. I hope this video has helped you understand scope in Python and even scope in other languages a little bit better. If you found it useful, please do like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out.